vibes. If you mas master these five specific things that I'm about to list throughout this video, you will become a powerful man. You will become a, a most unpredictable man. You will become so much powerful than any other guys that who's living an average lifestyle, and you will surpass anybody if you just master these tips that I'm about to list out in these videos, man. The first one, this one may seem simple, and this one may seem the fucking, like, just easy, but at the end of the day, a lot of people don't have this self-fucking-discipline, bro. Self-discipline can fill out, fill in, in a whole lot of situations, bro, whether it's your sexual desire, whether it's what you need to do throughout the day, whether it's going to the fucking gym, taking care of your hygiene, you know what I'm saying, making sure you're getting to work, doing anything that's going to better yourself. All of that follows behind self-discipline. And without a man, a man not having self-discipline, he can really fuck his whole life up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Self-discipline, not having self-discipline is that person that is so attracted to addiction that he is. Whether it's drugs, going to parties, whether it's sex, doing things that is not better than him, bro. All of that follows in the no self-discipline category. If you don't have self-discipline, bro, then you won't. You won't be able to be to become the person that you want to become. You were never able to achieve the things that you want to achieve in life. You have to master the self-discipline, bro, in order to get to the next steps in your life, bro. It may seem like it's not a big deal, but it is, bro, because self-discipline can go a long fucking way, bro. A lot of people think having self-discipline ain't shit in today's society. A lot of people think self-discipline doesn't really matter the most. But I'm letting you know right now, it does. Because this is the things that's going to help you get the responsibilities done. These are the things that's going to help you become a successful person. These are the things that's going to transform you and keep involving you as you keep growing in today's society, bro. Period. And this follows up with the second step, bro. Self-control, having self-control, even with sexual desire, even having self-control of not going to the party, of controlling your time, what you're doing on the time, not watching TV all day, knowing they're going to wait, you got to study for something because you got an upcoming test like in two days or fucking tomorrow. No dang away, you got to get up for work and you got to get up at like five, six or seven o'clock in the morning. Self-control of the things that you do on a daily basis is fucking important too. Having control of your life. Not letting no female control you from achieving the things. If First of all, guys, I don't speak about female nature, bro. But I do want to say this. If you let... And this is what self-control is going to be a big part when I'm, I'm using female as a nature. Because a lot of guys nowadays... Is not living up to their full potential because of the woman they're who, who they're with, bro. If you with a woman that don't want you to become great, that don't want you to work all these hours and stack your bread up, that don't want you to go to the fucking gym because they feel insecure, then you do not need to be with a woman like that, bro. Period. Because at the end of the day, bro, if that woman left you, what do you have? Nothing because you don't have nothing fucking tangible because all that time when you was with her, you wasn't working towards anything. You wasn't you haven't even started anything. Now there is some women out here that can, you know, support you on what you're trying to do, and that's good. But I'm talking to the guys who has a beta mindset, bro. You cannot let nobody have control over your life. Even your parents, bro. If your parents feel like they don't want you to do certain things and they don't feel like you should do this in life. They feel like you need to go to school, but you just want to be an entrepreneur. You want to do this. You want to do something different. You want to start a YouTube gaming or you want to start YouTube generally. You just want to do something different than just the world wants you to be. That's having fucking self-control because you having self-control of your life. You choosing the purpose that was going to make you happy that you want to fucking fulfill. Having some self-control is hella important in today's society. If you don't have self-control, this shit can get you fucking behind. You will end up a loser. And then you won't end up never, you will never find happiness or peacefulness in your life because you never had self-control in your life. Because people go try to control you 
to do the things that they want you to do that makes them happy but that doesn't make you happy at all so yes self-control can lead you to become a powerful man in today's society and through your actions and never in an argument that is the third step to becoming a powerful man bro guys i'm letting you know right now a lot of you guys you waste your time by talking you wasting your time trying to prove yourself instead of just putting in the work instead of just grinding every fucking day and proving everybody who's hating on you and everybody who's doubting you wrong and just put in the fucking work to achieve success in whatever you trying to do in life you guys are wasting time on talking trying to go back and forth with whoever you going back and forth bro just prove them fucking wrong that should be your motivation that should be the momentum for you to go hard every fucking day when somebody who's fucking down you especially the people that who love you is fucking down you that should motivate you every fucking day anytime you feel tired anytime you feel like you need to fucking stop you need to think about all them arguments or all them times that people doubted you, bro. You need to realize like, bro, hold up, hold up, hold up. I need to fucking prove somebody wrong. And in order for me to do that, I need to keep moving even when I'm fucking tired, even when I don't feel like doing it. Because this is what's gonna make you a powerful man. When you start proving things by action, you have total control over the fucking game, fam. You do. When you start proving people wrong and showing people how valuable you are, showing people how, how much potential you have, even if you have the talent, but you put in work with your fucking talent, you can be fucking become fucking unstoppable, fam. You can. This is the third step or the third thing that you need to master to become a powerful man by using your action to win the fucking game. Point blank. Fourth thing. Having more faith and be and become bold in your goals, bro. You gotta have, you gotta be bold in your goals, bro. Whatever you trying to do, if you making sacrifices, if you're like doing risky shit in your life to reach through these goals and whatever you trying to do, whether if it's business, whether if it's you going back to school, while you working two jobs or you working one job, it don't matter. Whatever you doing that is gonna be risky, that's gonna cost so much of your time, costing so much of your money, bro, or whatever it is, bro, having faith and walking in boldness every day in the grind, it's gonna set you, set you above a, a lot of men bro point blank it is because a lot of guys don't have that boldness a lot of guys don't have that faith they don't have that belief in themselves that they can't accomplish anything so when you have these type of traits and you master these traits of doing anything that you're doing in life you can go farther in life period bro i shouldn't have to say so much about this but having faith and, and being bold and knowing that that you will risk anything to reach whatever you want to reach, best believe you're gonna get there, fam. It may not seem like it at the time, it may not seem like it right now, but I'm willing to bet if you put in a put in a work and you be patient and you just and you just focus on what you need to be focused on every fucking day, I promise you gonna achieve anything that you want in life, bro. I didn't know I was gonna achieve a thousand subs in one fucking year of having YouTube. But me just uploading content, by me just speaking to you guys, motivate you guys as well, bro. I was walking in with faith. I was walking in with boldness, bro. Even the people that know me in real life, knowing that I'm doing this, knowing that I'm being different from everybody else that I work around, you and they they just hating on me because of that. Don't you don't think that me keep uploading content is boldness, bro? Come on, fifth step, talk less, listen more, bro. A lot of you guys, and like I said, and I'm making an upcoming video on this. A lot of you guys, you guys talk so much. Y'all talk all your business out. You talk, talk all your plans. You talk all the goals that you want to reach in life, bro. And you realize that people think you crazy. People going to start doubting on you. People ain't think you ain't that type of guy to even accomplish the things that you want to accomplish in life. But this also reverts back to step four, bro. You have to literally walk in with boldness and having faith and just prove motherfuckers wrong. That's all you have to do. And by doing that is to stay focused. 
It's this talk, talk list. Don't even say nothing about yourself. Become a mysterious man, bro. Don't, don't try to show too much, bro. Don't try to show people what, what path you're trying to go. Don't try to, try to show what people your next move you're trying to do, bro. Like in basketball, you gotta be fucking, you gotta be shifty as hell. You gotta have moves out the ass, bro. If you want to get to the basket, period. But in order for you to do that, you don't need to be sitting there and try to talk to the defender head, bro. You need to be focused on that goal and focus on how you're going to get there and what type of move you're going to do to embarrass them in front of the crowd. Period. Because the more you talk, bro, the more you start feeding more people ideas, the more, more people that you're trying to feed your knowledge to to make them stronger and then eventually it's going to hop back and beat your ass. You got to keep things to yourself. You got to always be a student, bro. Never a teacher. You got to listen to other people. Listen at what they're doing. Listen to their mistakes. Listen listen how you can get better off their mistakes as well. You got to do things the opposite, bro. You can't be sitting there and tell everybody what you're doing, what, what type of mistakes you went through. Only if you have kids, I understand that. But as far as people that ain't the same blood as you, bro, the people that you call friends or associates, you got to listen to them more. Feed into their knowledge. Listen to them and apply it to your arsenal so you can become better, so you can become stronger, so you can achieve the things. So that way you can have a peaceful grind. That way not everybody knows so much about you and know what you're doing on a daily basis where they can feel like they can compete with you and do things that is better than what you're doing to surpass your ass. You have to really talk less. Just talk less, put in work, bro. When you min minimize the, the less talking and maximize the action, don't you don't think you will get to the goals faster than a person that talked too much, bro? That's it in today's video, man. I ain't gonna make this video too long, but think about the five things that's gonna make you become a powerful man, bro. These five things right here that I listed will make you become above average and more of a powerful man in today's society.